Hello, this is Wylock lesson number, actually not 27, it's 28, okay? Okay, evaluate the expression if x equals 2, y equals 3, and z equals 4. So we're just going to replace these letters with the number that they correspond to. So x will be 2 plus 3. That's my mistake. 2 plus 3 plus 4. So that will be 9. 3, 2, plus 3, plus 2, and 4, right? That equals 6, plus 3, plus 8. That'll be 17. Okay, um, 4, 2, plus... That is wrong. Oh my god, what's wrong with me today? <laughs> 4 times 4 plus 3 times 2. 16 plus 6 equals 32. 5 times 2 plus 7 times 3 plus 2. 10 plus 21 plus 2. That is 33. Okay. Let's do five and six. Nine times two plus three. Okay, I just got memorized. Two, three, four. Plus three plus two is four. Four plus three plus two is four. Let's do this one right now. Two times two plus three times three. Okay, that's eighteen plus nine plus eight. Okay. That's 17 plus 18, right? So 17 plus 18, that'll be 35. 4 plus 9, 13. Evaluate the expressions. Well, 81 square root is 9. Uh, well, this one is 289. This would be 17. Because 17 times 17 is 289, right? Just think of this, think of square roots as an opposite square. You do x times x for this. Right? But for this, you take away the x if that's it's the opposite of this. This is square root, it's the opposite of this one. I don't know. Sorry that doesn't make sense. Okay. One four four. One four four is twelve because twelve and twelve is one four four. Okay. Three two four is well first we got to flip it over, right? So it's gonna be like this. So one over that is my idea again. <laughs> okay. One over eighteen. Because eighteen times eighteen is three two four. Okay, three six one. Equals nineteen. Okay, so this easy. Four hundred equals twenty. Okay, number seven. This number seven. Four four one equals twenty one. Okay. Eight four one equals twenty nine. Okay, completing the square. Okay. That'll be x squared plus b 
x plus b over 2 squared equals x plus b over 2 squared. Okay. Mm. Okay, so that'd be x squared plus, well, b is 5 in this case, so plus 5x plus 5 over 2 squared. Right, so that equal x plus 5 over 2 squared. Squared plus 8x plus 8 over 2. Okay, oh, sorry about that. Over two squared. Well, if we look at that, that'd be four times or two, so that'd be sixteen. So that equal x plus sixteen squared. Well, it'll just be four actually, like that. x squared plus, well, my, it's actually minus 12x here. Minus 12x plus negative 12, 2 squared. That is negative 6, so that'd be negative 36. We're not doing that here. x plus x minus 6 squared. X squared plus 3x plus 3 over 2 squared. So this would be x plus 3 over 2 squared. X squared minus 16x plus negative 16 over 2, right, squared. So that'd be x squared, mm, x squared minus 8 squared. Okay, not x squared, it's just x. <clears throat> x minus 8 squared. Okay, 2x. Okay, well first we gotta take out the 2. So that'd just be 2x squared plus 10x minus 4. First one use that x squared plus 10x plus 10 over 2 squared. So that'd be x plus 5 squared. Okay, so for time sake, we are not going to do these because these actually make sense by now, right? So we're just going to do these four. I'm going to write down the basics first. Okay, like that. So this will be x minus 3 over 2 squared. Okay. x plus 5 over 2 squared. x plus 3. X, okay, well, maybe 1 over 2 times 1 over 2, basically. So negative 1 over 4, we're going to 
square that. So that would be 1 over 16. Okay. 1 over 16 squared. Right? Yep, so that's it. And it's very basic. Just exponents and square rating. And we're starting to use exponent, not exponents. We're starting to use x and y's and z's and all that fun stuff. So have a good day.